Hey guys, it's Cash Kicks Dallas, and thank you for watching this video. Today, I'm not in my normal place. Um, I'm in the bathroom, actually, and I'm going to do a tutorial on how to clean your shoes. So, I'm going to set you guys right there. And you probably can't see my face, but it'll be the best for the video. Let's see. Is that good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so basically, um, I wore... I just got these. Haven't done a review on them yet, but I got these 2.0 white Ultra Boosts. Uh, more outside of like a field day kind of thing for my school. Um, is this sideways? Yeah, I think it's a little sideways, but that's okay. Um, so I wore these for like a field day kind of thing, and they got pretty dirty. It's kind of, the camera makes them look a lot better than they are, but uh, they got pretty scratched up. Just a little scuff back there. But so basically, I got a lot. I have a lot of questions on how to uh, clean shoes without spending tons of money on crap or anything like that. This is bothering me. It's not straight. That's better. Okay, so I get a lot of questions on how to clean shoes without spending tons of money on crap or rejuvenator, and this is the best way. So you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna get a old toothbrush. This is not my toothbrush that I use. That would not be very smart. You don't wanna clean your teeth with dirt because these get pretty dirty. Um, you wanna get toothpaste, depending on like what color it is. Pre preferably white, like because if like you use like green toothpaste on like a white shoe or like a gray sheet, it'll turn a green, that's not very good. So you want to use white toothpaste. This is just the first stuff I found. Um, and you're going to want to get the toothpaste, and the toothbrush a little wet, put a little bit of toothpaste, just like you're brushing your teeth. Oh shoot, okay. Um, and then you're going to want to get the shoe. Actually, no you don't. Okay, so you want to just start scrubbing. So I have that, I have a little stain right there, and I want to get it off. So. I'm going to start scrubbing, and you can already tell it's coming off, um, yeah, it's like, it works pretty good, like, I've never had a problem with cleaning my shoes, really, um, some grass in the prime knit, what the heck, I can get that off later, but, um, yeah, it works really well, this is what I use for cleaning my shoes, um, I've gotten some pretty crazy stains out with this. Um, I've heard a lot of different I like things you can do, but this is the most effective and just cheap because you're not like wasting any money. Yeah, so that's good. Um, this one, this one has a big, big stain. If you can see that, this one will need some work. So I'm just doing the prime knit at the top at first. Um, you want to put. You want to put pillows, I mean not pillows, that would be bad. You want to put like towels, like old towels or, or stuff you can wash. Like preferably not white towels because they'll get muddy and stuff. But um, just put your shoes on so you don't like soak the counter or whatever. And it drips off and it turns your bathroom like all muddy. But basically if you can tell, I'm just going to scrub where that stain is. And it won't get it all out, and these are my beaters, and I like wore these to the thing on purpose, because like, I don't really care if these get too dirty, but, I'm just gonna scrub, and um, it works pretty well. So, it's coming out, and I probably didn't make the smartest decision and let it, and not clean it the day I got them dirty, but, oh well. Like I said, I'm not hugely disappointed or devastated if they get dirty. I really don't care. These are my beaters, and so I wore them there on purpose. But, um, yeah, so I got these, and I got a couple other pairs of Ultra Boosts that I'm going to do a review on. And I got a new Supreme pickup that's pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, it turned, this turned out pretty good. Um, it, you need to wash it off after you do it. Like, there's a big, like, wet mark, but I just got the wet, but it got off pretty good, so happy with that. Um, now you're going to want to do, like, scuffs or whatever, just marks them with the plastic. So you just want to get your hands wet. Oh, shoot. So you want to get your hands wet and then just kind of like, rub it, and it comes off pretty easily. So these turn these started out, like, look at that. Like, I know the lighting in here isn't very good, but there's, like, a pink mark look right there. Mud. Like, this is a dirty shoe. Uh, the sole. It's pretty dirty. 
Um, so I'm just you just want to get your hands and then get them wet. Rub them across there. Like like I said, you're not gonna get everything out, but that's okay. Like that's just the risk you run. And so yeah, but it's coming. Yeah, it's working. So got cage. Not cage. You got like the heel cup kind of thing. Pretty clean scuffs, like deep scuffs, uh, are very hard to get out. But and then soles, you want to use the toothbrush, cause that way you can get in the cracks and get it out. Not really trying to get too much like water on the soles, like, I really don't care if these soles are very clean, um, because they're just going to get dirty again, this is an all-white shoe, I'm kind of asking for it, but, um, what, oh, my camera says I have 30 minutes left, okay, cool, but, yeah, so these turned out pretty good, happy with that, let's check these ones, these are still, still drying, um, these ones are pretty good, doing good, now I need the scuffs off of the cage and the heel, see, that's a deep scuff, right there, See, I probably won't be able to get that out. It's a weird sound. Um, yeah, I got the one above it off, but yeah, that won't come off. Oh well. Um, the one in the back, that like black one on the back. Let's see. Got to rip hard. Um, yeah, that's not really coming off. That's okay though. Um. This whole thing on the bottom. But yeah, these are turning out pretty good. I know the camera makes them look like they're not very dirty. But they were. Trust me. It was crazy. Um, oh, dang. Look at that right there. That's okay. I really don't care. Um, so yeah, these are turning out pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Um, like I said, these deep scuffs you can't really get out. But oh well. Um... Yeah, you're looking pretty good. So I know it's pretty fast and it probably wasn't the best quality or anything just because it's really hard. Try not to get your camera wet. Here, I'll get I'll come out of here. It's really hard not trying to get your camera wet while working with all that water. Oh, it's like blue in here. Okay, there we go. It's a little bit better. Um, so, yeah. Well, thank you for watching and uh, I think that's it.